subscribe and click on the bell icon to never miss a video on India Food Network. I've got on my episodes. I'm loving the fact that you're loving it. Also for your ideas on the Ching's Desi Chinese recipe contest. So keep those ideas coming. See, it's a hot sunny day. So my guest has to be hot and sunny. And just like the dish we are cooking today, she's exotic, she's flaming, she's hot and spicy. I've never met her before, but I've always admired her determination, her sass, her beauty, and of course her intelligence. So ladies and gentlemen, please welcome on the mini truck today, Sunny Leone for you. Hi. Thank you so much for coming to the mini truck. No, thank you for having me. I've been waiting to hear your food stories because when I started stalking you on the internet, by the way, how does it feel to be like the most Google person in the in the country in in Asia? I don't think about it all day, so I was very um, impressed. I have to tell you, I was like, oh, whoa, okay. Thank you. <laughs> I'm caution. <laughs> very fortunate. I have great fans. And Absolutely, and they, they're going to love seeing this other side of you because I bet many of you didn't know that she really, really cooks well. Let's get to the truck. It's a little cooler. Okay, and let's get started. <laughs> so Sunny, my happy space. Do you like it? I love it. <laughs> it is like the nicest kitchen I've been in. I think so too. And I just feel like we can cook something really inspired out here, which yeah. is what we're planning to cook today. What kind of cuisines do you like to cook? You know, I like all of it. Um, I love making Mexican food. I love making uh, Italian, but from scratch. Also heard that you make a marvelous mac and cheese. Yeah, I, yeah that's your specialty. I thing. love mac and cheese. I think it's like the best thing ever made on earth. <laughs> we, we will also keep that for for some time. But today, I thought we'll try something more exotic, more oriental, yeah. and especially because you said you're vegetarian. Um, I thought we'd do like Thai. Yeah. Sunny and I are making today is a Thai lasagna, which. Um, which is quite interesting because we're not going to use any pasta sheets in it. We're going to use zucchini as yeah. our layers. So should we just get started? Yeah, sure. We have a very special uh, mandolin uh, slicer. So tell me one thing. You grew up in a very sweet town. I was watching this documentary, Tarnia. Um, From a food perspective, did you start there when you started watching your mom cook? It wasn't like a choice. I had to help. Like, yeah. Atta kon guniga? <laughs> me. <laughs> Marinate the zucchini yeah. slices with the uh, olive oil. Okay, I'll go easy on the salt because the sauces will have their own salt as well. So <laughs> let's leave this to marinate for about 20 minutes. Should we get it going? Yeah. It's chal rahe, kiri chal rahe. Yep, it's on. Oh, it's off. And it's oh, on. It's on. <laughs> Chalo, let's get started. Come on, so should we go right. with garlic first? We have to put first the galangal, I think, just to flavor the oil. And then I don't think what, I want What did you say? This? Galangal. That's the Thai uh, ginger. Oh, okay. Yeah. Adrak. Adrak. All Thai logo ka adrak hai lekin. <laughs> love, you know, I actually love Punjabis who've lived in America all their lives mm -hmm. because they have, you know, they have this beautiful American accent, but when they speak about Ingredients, or when they speak about like some desi things, yeah. the real Punjabi, uh, you know, accent comes out. That doesn't get Americanized. So, like when yeah. you said alu ke parathe, how do you say alu ke parathe? Alu ke parathe. See, parathe. This. I think, yeah, must be nice. Oh, you're left-handed. I am, yeah, left-handed. And and this. Yeah, and the onions. All of it. Yeah, no, I don't know. I, I, let's go with it. Oh, I, you said <laughs> I don't know. I said I don't know. You know, when I cook, I don't really like measure things out. I don't either, and I think that's the mark of a really good cook, okay? <laughs> oh, 200 grams of this. Watch yeah. it. I'm going to decide what I'm going to put in. This nice. is the best smell in the world. Is it? Eh? Or the worst is like in the morning, my my mother would cook a luke parante in the morning, and I would get on the school bus, oh. and I would be the stinky Indian girl on the bus. Okay. And then she would put it in my lunch box. So then so when, when I would open it, the whole classroom smelled like a look at and yeah. <laughs> and that's it. Okay, I think we are, we are good to sort of add the 
Thai chili paste. Sunny, I think you should take a little more of that because we're going to be making a lot of sauce. Well, you know, at least I'm conjuicy together. Bilkul nahi conjuicy to khana hi nahi So now I'm going to add the tomato puree. Oh, teri bloody teri to. Okay, this looks yum actually. Good, and now we can maybe put a few so rosemary, oregano, and thyme. This is Thai basil. That is one. Beautifully chopped herb, lady. How do you? How, I I haven't quite figured how to. So yeah. Usually, this. usually leaves are all the same. <laughs> Plop in this? the broccoli and the aubergine. Yeah. Big. Just already blanched a little bit. Oh. Thanks for putting in the water, Sunny. That was really nice of you. Oh, but we also was need there? some water. It was in there. So we put. Chop. Whenever you chop aubergine, you soak it in water. It's a it's a thing with bengal. Otherwise, it gets black, right? Can we order some? Uh, we can we can put in some peppers, and then we give it a good stir. Yeah, that's good. Maybe how I should, how get should some I know water. there was water in there? Because bengal is always soaked in water. Otherwise, it'll be like black. Okay, but you're adding. See, water. I'm anyway adding water. That was part of my. I knew that. I knew. See, all you are that. so intuitive about yeah. this recipe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come to the heart. Like, Cha. This whole move to India, how's it been for you? I mean, are you enjoying it or are you still feeling a little displaced because it's not what you've grown up with? I have no idea what it is, but India has this magnetism. Once you're here, it has this magnetism, it has this innocence to it that always wants to bring you back. Okay, now there's only one thing left and I think we will use your judgment to put it soy, red chili and vinegar. Bas! Allow jaiga, but it's nice. You got it right. Uh, red chili and some vinegar, and I think salt to taste. But I think paste has its own. Okay, I don't know about this. Is How this like it? a sweet chili? It's a red chili sauce. Let's just taste it. Taste it. Taste it. Taste it. Come on, let's do the chili challenge, yeah? Oh, that's yummy. Lovely. Now we're talking. Now the sauce looks amazing. Yeah. Yep. Let's get the zucchini in the pan. Do you think the heat you give out is enough to grill them without the fire? Oh my gosh, that's so cheesy! Yeah. <laughs> so somebody <laughs> likes cheese. It has to be cheesy. And do you think it's time to turn off the the sauce? Just shut it. Yeah, you know I'm a big fan of fruits Roy's and vegetables, vegetables that are a little bit more raw than soggy, mm -hmm. like like Overdone. banging, smashed banging. Or sog. You know, the only thing that's like nice smash is smashed potatoes. I can eat anything potato. Yeah? How come it doesn't show on you? So what's because I did like I ran for about 30 minutes this morning. Then I did another 40 minutes of yoga. Then I did some weights. I'm leaving. Goodbye. And then. Look at that. And then I ate really healthy today. Wow. So. Really? You know the nice thing about uh, like a ketogenic diet is that you can basically eat all day as long as you're not eating pasta, rice, bread. Roti. You can't eat potatoes. Yeah, no rotis. Uh, you're fine. In one week, I lost like two kilos. I swear, it was crazy. Okay, lady, I'm on. And it. then I had to be like, "Yes, husband, you're right." Do you know how hard it is for a wife to say, "Yes, husband, you're right"? <laughs> no, I swear. <it's> like <laughs> I've never said it ever. <laughs> We fried a lot of zucchinis. Yep. I'm happy it's coming to the end of it. Come on, let's start uh, putting the lasagna. Little oil before we begin. Here okay. we go. Okay. Now you're going to grate some of your favorite stuff, blob of mozzarella. Yeah, I'm gonna put the oven on. Ooh, this is gonna melt into one yumminess. So now this cheese is going to do its magic, but just to give it a lovely, beautiful crust, we're going to do breadcrumbs on top. Yeah, I love crisp and I love crusts. We are done. Bye bye, lasagna. Mm -hmm. We'll see you soon. Sunny has devised this beautiful <laughs> name for this new cooler. Please tell them what it is. It's called the Mi Sun Cooler. How do we make this? Please? Okay, so the recipe says mm. to 
yet. Cut this up a little bit. I love lemongrass. I don't want to bang it too hard because it'll go flying somewhere. Please don't say bang it too hard. It's not my fault, your mind is in the gutter. Okay, fine. Oh, this is the crushing beautifully. Now I So we put water, we put lemongrass that's been pounded in the powder and, 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 and lemon leaves. Just light this up. So that looks just about done. Yep. And smelling so nice. Everything's just yep. yeah, it's done. Love the smell of this. What's that? Is that a lasagna it burning? Smelled, <laughs> it smells like cheese. Oh my god, it looks good. There it is. <sighs> cheese is all I can smell. <laughs> so should we go for lunch? Yeah, I'm starving. Done. Hello, Daniel, and thank you for joining oh. us for lunch. Look at what your wife made. Hi, I didn't make I. it, we both made it. Well, it's a pure keto Thai lasagna. Doesn't it look brilliant? It looks amazing. Thank you for joining Why us. Why do I have to wait till you're on a show to get such a great cooked meal? What the heck is that? I mean, you cook all the time amazing, but this well, is like... Well, you make me sound like I started. Can we not have a marital <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. situation? Because I have enough of it at home. Thank you. <laughs> so, thank you. And, and oh, thank you. Sunny's actually been talking about you throughout this. Do you tell how good of a cook I am? No, she I said, said you cook the healthy stuff. Oh. Well, thank you. <laughs> okay, bon appetit. This is the non-dieter's <laughs> way of convincing somebody. <laughs> she sort of does this all the time. Some roundabout what? way of convincing what? why I should have something. Look, listen, if we're at a beautiful restaurant and the chef brings out a nice dessert, She's like, you're going to you eat not? it. I go, but we're always at a nice restaurant. Mm. <laughs> I love ice cream. Thank you guys. We have something, a, a token of our appreciation because Aww. I read somewhere that you, you buy appliances and ingredients whenever you go. So we have something small, customized for you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. This is so thank sweet. You. Oh my God. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Put it down. Beautiful. You're most welcome. So enjoy cooking and uh, we hope to see you on another episode really soon where we cook up some brilliant stuff. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and that's all we have from the mini truck today. If you've been trying out any of our recipes, feel free to share them with me on Twitter uh, for more episodes and what's happening next. Uh, why don't you watch India Food Network? Like, subscribe, share so you can get a hold on to what's happening next. Till then, it's Mini saying bye bye. The Ching's Desi Chinese Contest. What delicious Desi Chinese dish would you create for Sunny Leone? Tweet your answers to India Food Network with hashtag the mini truck. The best answer will win an awesome Ching's hamper. So start tweeting now. The mini truck keeps on rolling with Ching's. I love Desi Chinese.